Hello, hello, and welcome to the Pink Fresh Studio December stencil and die release. So we have quite a few goody goodies here. So we're gonna have a, a little bit of a look see on these and then we're gonna make some cards. And uh, first off, we have the diamond plaid stencil. So this one contains the two pieces. So you can use one or two or both together and uh, you get that result basically. And then we have simple plaid. So same idea basically. And yeah, plaid is always a good one to have for backgrounds. And then Argyle, I'm trying with my Scottish accent again, which failing miserably, but it's so funny to say Argyle, right? Just me? Yeah, okay. Uh, mirror triangles. And this one is actually just one, but you can just turn it over and make like a repeating pattern. So yeah, goody good. And uh, this one is layered sunburst and this one you have three pieces so you can make that. And I mean, oh, look at that. Isn't that just like ice cream for ice? Yeah, so good. And uh, next we have seamless floral pattern. And this one actually has five pieces in it. So, but you can make that together. So we're gonna open this up and uh, just have a, a little closer look at the, uh, the pieces. So you kind of get the idea. So we have, for each sort of layer, you have a set stencil that will create the pieces of pattern. So you have like the leafy bits and the sort of sticky bits and your petals and like inner, you know, the stamens and little shadings of the, the flowers to kind of make that pattern there. And then obviously your color choices are entirely up to you. So you can make quite a few different ones. Then we have hanging garden and same idea with this one. You have five pieces and you will be able to create that amazing, gorgeous picture or image. Next, we have floral print circle. This one contains four stencils and you'll be able to make that. Super cute and perfect to just put like in the middle of a card and put a blassy sentiment on top and you're good to go. Next up, we have Daisy Wreath, and again, this one is five pieces, and you can make this gorgeous image, and it comes with a die cut. I love that part. That is, I'm very, very excited about that, in case you couldn't tell. And then we have the overlapping leafy wreath, and uh, you have four different stencils with this to create this gorgeous image. And again, a coordinating die cut. I cannot tell you how excited I am about the fact of having coordinating die cuts. Super exciting. Enchanting, enchanting? Enchanting Meadows is up next. And this one has also got five pieces. And the coordinating die cuts. Yippee! I know, I know. So yeah, a little bit over the top here. Uh, Garden Florals, and this one also has five pieces, and this image, I absolutely love it. And it has a coordinating die cut, which I'm holding upside down here, but okay, no, no never mind. You, you get the picture. It is a coordinating die cut. Anyway. And a staple in everyone's crafting stash is a cloud stencil. So this one is called Cloud Buildup, and I'm slightly obsessed with it, yes. I love it. I mean, I love cloudy escapes for backgrounds. It's just so funny. Uh, funny? No, it's good. Next up, we have Mountainscape. And this one has got three pieces, so you can create uh, a amazing background, basically. So there we have it. And now we're going to hop into some card making. And I'm going to be using the Garden Florals stencil set today. And it needs to be said that... Um, Unfortunately, there's a little bit of like a mishap with the alignment of the these um, prototypes that we got sent. So um, the first stencil, it doesn't quite line up where it's supposed to go, but don't worry, that is going to be fixed. But uh, if you are sort of, uh, if you're worried about not getting the alignment right, what you can do is do a side down here and die cut it first, because then it's super, super simple to get it in place. And I have also, um, I need to point this out, I have actually added a little bit of pixie spray on the back of the stencils to make sure that they uh, stick where they're supposed to. Cause you know, it's, it's simple for them to kind of just fly off the, uh, the page, not the page, but the 
craft table. So we're gonna start off here with um, fresh pear, uh, and we're gonna just simply ink blend to our heart's content to you know get the kind of coverage that we want. And one thing that I really really love about these as well is um, the stencils is that you can get a super super soft look by just adding a touch of ink. Or you can, you know, go to town as I'm doing here and, you know, just get a really, really sort of covered image. And then, I mean, look at this. Isn't that so cool? Ah! I, I know, I know, I know. Be, be serious. Right, so this one is actually stencil number one. But um, I'm going in with this second um, because of the sort of misalignment issue thingy, which I didn't actually realize until I made quite a few cards. <laughs> but... Never mind, it, it's no biggie. So here I'm using Lemon Whip. So this is the lightest of the yellow colors. And I'm, uh, in real life, I'm not really a yellow fan. However, for flowers, there's something so like bright and happy and sunshiny about yellow flowers. So I really love yellow on flowers. And um, we are going to go in quite sort of heavy. Yeah, with this one, because I'm actually going to be doing all of the flowers on this image with yellow, but I wanted to do so that they are slightly, because there's two different flower layers, so I wanted them to be kind of different intensity. And um, yeah, so anyway, you, you'll get what I mean when, I, when I'm finished. So we're going to go in with stencil number three, and we're using the outline of the die cut to make sure that we are getting it in place. But it's also, there's a very clever hack, which once the alignment issue is sorted out, will be, I mean, it's going to make card making so easy. You won't even believe it. But there are little marks at the top of the stencils where if you cut your panel out to five and a half by four and a quarter inches, you just align your cardstock with those marks and you'll get perfect results every time. I mean, this is such a genius idea. I ooh, I will be doing jumping jacks now with excitement if I didn't have a bad back. So that's how excited I am. <laughs> I know. Oh, putting mental images in your heads when you're trying to focus on crafting. I know it's very bad of me, but... Anyway, as you can see here, I've kind of gone in with a lighter hand with the, I've used Lemon Whip again, because I wanted just, I wanted the big flowers to kind of be like the centerpiece, and, uh, but I still wanted all the flowers to be yellow. Does that make sense? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so um, we're going to go in here with stencil number four to add those like stamens and shadows and dimension to the flowers. And uh as I said, because I've got a little bit of pixie spray on the back of all these stencils, it's so easy, you just stick it down and it's it's not gonna move anywhere, so yay. And for these pieces, I'm going to be using a little bit of marigold, which is the second darkest yellow color. And uh, at first, when I started this, I was like, oh, okay, that, that's maybe a little bit too much. But just wait for the peel and reveal. I love how it can turns out. I I'm so yeah. I'm not gonna use the e word again, which is excited. Actually, heck it, I'm gonna use it. I'm so excited about these stencils. They are so so fun, and yeah. Okay, but anyway, let's focus. So stencil number five. So this is the last one. I'm gonna go in with um, grassy knoll, and add the final sort of layers of um, grass and uh, bits and pieces. So uh, what I did forget here actually is uh, there's also the, the the little bitty bits in the middle of three of the biggest flowers. So if you don't want them also to be green, you might want to mask them off, which I'm, I'm trying to kind of not go in too, too much over them. But I did get a little bit of green in there anyway, which led me to having to choose a slightly darker color for the middle than I probably would have done. But oh well, you live and learn. Even with all this excitement going on, yes, you live and learn. So as I said, yeah, this is the, the final layer here. So we're just gonna go in with the last bit of green there and then we're gonna hop in with passion fruit. And I'm using a different light changing blender brush for all of these colors so that if I feel like it needs a little bit more, even if I thought I was finished already, I can just go in and not have to worry about like color contamination on my ink pads. And uh, 
I mean, I cannot tell you how excited I am about these stencils because if you, uh, I mean, I love coloring myself, but if you don't, if you're not confident with coloring, this is the perfect way to add texture and detail and color to your cards without coloring. And uh, my uh, background here, uh, I have used uh, the diamond plaid stencil and I used them stuck together so that I got white lines everywhere. And I've used a lemon whip and sunshine on my card to make it a, or the background to make it super happy and bright. And you can see here how I've gone really, really light in the middle and a little bit darker around the edges. And uh, the reason I do that um, is, well, at first I wasn't really sure this one was gonna be for this uh, particular card. However, uh, I like doing that because it helps draw your eye into the star of your card, which is this amazing image. I mean, just look at that. And no coloring, how cool is that? I love it, genius idea. So we can have a little bit of a close up on this um, finalized card now. So I did add some black watercolor splatters on the back and then I did layer this up with four die cuts, um, just like, you know, to bring it up and, and just give it a bit of dimension. And um, I did end up loving this so much that, um, yeah, I, I, I made some more. So this one is almost exactly the same except of course, the background is gray and there are no no splatters on that. But I think it's nice to kind of do similar cards but with different color schemes just to kind of see the different looks you get. And I, um, I'm not sure which one I like the best. I'm leaning towards the yellow background but I do like how soft the gray one is. And I, uh, yeah, I was on a yellow roll so, you know, I was just kind of going on and on and on. And this one, you can see that it's just slightly off, like the, um, the flowers are not quite in the right place, but it has just, I finished it off with a simple sentiment and some gold splatters. And uh, yeah, again, more yellow flowers, but we did go in with a little bit of teal and also gray for the flowers and, uh, sorry, the leaves. And I popped that um, sentiment up just a little bit and some gold splatters, of course, you know, but yeah, you know. So. The last two and this one uh, I did make before I um, I realized that the alignment was slightly off, but I, I used them anyway. And um, here you can really see how the alignment is off. So I started out by ink blending the images and uh, then I actually cut out with the die cut a what was going to be a mask. And that's when I realized, oh, it doesn't fit. And you can really sort of see it right there because um, everywhere else it, it kind of fits, but right around this flower here and then the other flower on the left side, you're like, ah, yeah, that's not, that's not right. And I didn't realize this until I had already ink blended four panels. So, uh, but as you can see, I did kind of make a few cards with this set anyway. And the ones that are one layer cards are the four that I did before I realized uh, about the alignment. However, I think they turn out pretty nice anyway. And you know, just kind of had to MacGyver it a little bit along the way. So with that, I am all down it for today, but don't you worry, there will be plenty more videos because this release really had me so excited. And uh, I will link everything down below with affiliate links. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon again.